MDHC. Today is Mondi Thursday, Mondi being Latin for command, because in John 13, 34, Jesus commands us to love one another as I have loved you. In John 13, we also read about a common custom that took place at dinner parties, and that was foot washing. You see, in first century Jerusalem, most people wore open sandals on their feet and they walked everywhere. Most of the roads were dusty and dirty and they were garbage dumps for people and they were bathrooms for animals. So when you arrived at a dinner party, it was customary for the host to provide a servant-like person, the lowest servant in the house, not good for anything else, but to wash your feet. The servant, they would kneel down uh, before you, help and take off your sandals, and then they would take one of your feet and put it in the basin, and they would take a pitcher of water, and they would pour it over your foot, and they would scrub with the water and their hands. Then uh, extract your foot and dry it with a towel, and then again with the other foot. At a three to five hour dinner party, it would make a guest feel a whole lot more comfortable with clean feet. And in addition to that day and in that part of the world, they ate their dinner reclining at tables. So odds were at some point your feet were gonna end up in someone's face. And if you were not wealthy enough, it was still customary to leave a pitcher, a basin and a towel so guests could wash their feet on their own. Uh, as in this chapter, John 13, there is no servant. So you can see the disciples start to ask, hey, who's going to wash our feet? Because at this point, they are thinking they are going to become the political leaders of Israel. And Jesus is going to overthrow the Roman government and reign as king. And they are going to reign with him. But hear this, when your heart focuses on your own greatness, your hands are seldom ready to serve. Well, a fight breaks out, who is the greatest and who is the lowest who's gonna wash the other's feet? They're basically saying, I would rather sit here with dirty feet than stoop, stoop down and serve you. Well, Jesus is watching and Jesus ties a towel around his waist and he begins to wash the feet of his disciples. Imagine if you were there and one of his disciples and in addition, Jesus begins to wash your feet. And as the dirt washes away, so does your pride. Can you imagine how quiet and embarrassing that moment must have been. Jesus, your Lord and teacher, doing for you what you refuse to do for others. Well, Jesus calls us, his followers, to loving acts of kindness and servanthood. This is our distinctive marks as Christians. And he says, if I can wash your feet, you can wash the feet of others. And in the end, God blesses us. God's favor will fall upon those who take up the towel and live as Christ demonstrated. So let's do that today. Well, friends, I hope to see you tonight at our Monday Thursday service at 7 p.m., our Good Friday tomorrow at 6, and one of our four worship gatherings for Easter this weekend, Saturday at 5, Sunday sunrise at 6.30, and then our usual 9 a.m. and 10.30. Uh, blessings to you, my friends. I hope to see you soon.